this video, we're going to look at how to submit an assignment using Google Docs. So we'll start by opening up our assignment in Moodle and downloading the actual assignment file. There's usually two places to do so. I'm going to download this file here. I'm going to be sure to download it to my desktop. If you prefer to download it somewhere else, you can do, but for our purposes, I'll do so there. Also, I'm going to change the file name so it's got my name on it here. And we'll use the name student and then click on the blue box save. From here, we're now going to want to use Google Docs. So I'm going to open up Google. And as we discussed earlier, if we go to our Google Drive, once we've opened an account, we can then open Google Docs under my drive. As you see, so here. This is going to open up a blank file. But what we want to do is now open the file we downloaded to our desktop. So to do so, I'm going to scroll up to File and Open. From here, this new prompt will allow me to upload if I click on the far right word Upload and go select a file from your computer. We can now see that if I go back to my desktop on my computer where I save my file, that the file is sitting there in doc format. I can then open it. Give it a moment to upload because we're now using a cloud-based feature to edit this file. And here's my file. I can now make all the changes I need to, add my name, add the date, answer all the questions, and manipulate the same way I would if I was using Microsoft Word. Once I've done all the questions, I'm now going to want to save my new copy. So I'm going to go File, Download As, and use a Microsoft Word. You'll notice it's now a .docx. This is fine. Our teachers at West Shore can open a .doc or a .docx. So once I've saved this, I can now move back to Moodle and add my submission. Same way we would have if we were using a, a non-cloud based software. So I'll choose my file. As you can see, I've got my two files here. I'm going to choose the .docx file that Google Docs saved for me. Open that and upload this file and then I save my changes. And once we give that a moment to upload, you'll notice that I've now submitted my new file that I created in Google Docs.